All of New York's spider senses were tingling last night after it was reported that the Knicks and Jazz were in trade discussions surrounding Donovan Mitchell. Joining me now to break down everything we know so far is New York Post columnist Zach Braziller. Zach, you've got the tea on this trade. In fact, in one of your articles, you mentioned the possibility of summer league standout Quentin Grimes being one of the pieces in this trade. Would that be a big mistake for the Knicks front office? No, you you don't let Quentin Grimes, and look, I, I'm a big fan of his. I thought he was great in summer league, but you don't let Quentin Grimes prevent you from getting a 25-year-old three-time all-star. You know, the, the big question you know, until recently was, would the Knicks include R.J. Barrett in that deal? And it, it doesn't seem like the Jazz, you know, are, are in need of Barrett. It, you know, now part of it is they're rebuilding, and if they land Barrett, they would then have to give him the, the rookie max extension. But no, look, you give up to me. If you don't have to put Barrett in the trade, you give up anyone they ask for, and you give them picks, and you're thrilled. I mean, if you could have a big three of Brunson, Barrett, and Mitchell – that's a, pretty, that's a pretty nice little core there that I think is top four to five in the East. All right, so what are the Knicks going to have to give up to keep Barrett? How do you keep him out of this trade? You know, I, I think you're looking at Grimes. I think you could be looking at Obi Topin. You could be looking at Emmanuel quickly, probably two of those three. You're going to have to probably give up at least four first-round picks, possibly even five. Now, the Knicks also are going to have to move some money around here because Mitchell makes $30 million next year, and the Knicks are right up on the cap. So I think you're going to have to you're going to have to get rid of probably Evan Fournier or Derrick Rose, but Fournier makes more money, makes around 18 a year. So I think that would get it done if you, you know, Obi makes around five, you have Cam Reddish, but it doesn't sound like Barrett is the deal breaker here. It sounds like it's about how many picks the Knicks are willing to give up. All right, you're giving away a lot to bring in Spider-Man. And one major question surrounding this trade is how is the Knicks defense going to operate with two undersized guards in the backcourt? Do you think my man Patrick Beverly could end up on this trade uh, to New York? Yeah, look, there have been reports that the Jazz are willing to move at basically anyone right now. You know, they're looking to rebuild. It's a great draft next year. Um, they have a lot of picks. They want even more. You know, it sounds like someone, you know, someone like him is is available. Now, you obviously with the salary cap have to make sure the money works, but it doesn't sound like it's out of the question. Like I get the defensive issue, but you still have Mitchell Robinson back there. You know, Barrett's a really good defender. You, you worry about you, you. You hope Tibbs makes some magic there. Look, Brunson's not a bad defender. I know there's some questions about Mitchell's defense, but it is an undersized backcourt. I don't think it's just a it's a terrible defensive backcourt and you have a defensive coach and you, you know, you hope he, he makes it work, but look, you have a chance to get a, in your prime three time all-star, you do it and you worry about, you know, issues down the road. Okay. He's an in your prime three time all-star, give it to a straight. Does adding Donovan Mitchell to this Knicks roster, make them a playoff team? Yeah. I, if you keep run, if you keep Barrett, I think this is a top four to five team in the East. You know the 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 threesome of Barrett, of Barrett, Brunson, and Mitchell is you know is tantalizing. I mean, I think that's that's a really good trio. You know, you're still going to keep Robinson. The Jazz do not want you know to add salary that he has. You know, I you'll still have Randall, who's obviously going to have to make some adjustments with some ball dominant guards. But yeah. I, I think it's a no-doubt playoff team. I think it's a top four to five team in the East. I don't think it's a title contender. But look, this is a franchise that hasn't won a playoff series since 2013. Going for it now. And this is why you stockpile picks, to get a guy like this. And look, he's from here. He's familiar with Brunson. He, you know, Leon Rose and him are very close from, you know, from when Leon was running CAA. To me, as long as you don't have to give up Barry, it's a no-brainer. You, you do this deal. Knicks fans are hoping they land Spider Mitchell. Thanks, Zach, for your time. Anytime.